Coach, just some of your thoughts on tonight and who played well. Well, first as a team, I, I think we're much better tonight than we were last Friday at this time. And hopefully we can say the same thing a week from now. But obviously it's, it's still really early. Um, we have a number of new guys that we're trying to integrate into what we're doing. Um, they're still in the beginning stages of, of learning um, Sun Devil basketball. Uh, but this, this team has been consistent with their energy, their effort. Uh, their hearts are in the right place. They want to get better. They're easy to coach. So I think we're going to keep getting better. John is uh, just a little nicked up? Or? Yeah, I don't even know what it's called, but kind of right here on his foot. It's been irritated all fall, and then yesterday, uh, about halfway through practice, he got kicked there, and it was so sore he couldn't run on it the rest of practice yesterday and then today. And he was he was having a sensational practice yesterday, and he's really been playing good basketball for us. So hopefully we can get that calmed down and get him back on the court. It doesn't appear to be an issue though for next Friday. I don't I don't believe it will be. No. Are you really set on bringing him off the bench, or is that? Flexible. That's flexible. I mean, right now, if we had a start today, uh, we would. Um, just to balance um, newcomers with returners. Okay. You know what I mean? So we don't have all newcomers coming off the bench. So when we go to our bench, we have a little bit more balance, especially this early. The other thing is I think John's really comfortable with that. You know, and we've seen guys, you know, throughout history who look kind of like that role. You know, the, the most famous being John Havlicek. But he, he kind of likes that. I think he gets a feel for the game. And um, at, at the very worst, he doesn't mind it. But it's really not that big a deal because I'm, I'm sure in most every case by the first media timeout, he'll be in and we'll have substitutions. How, how challenging will it be this year figuring out roles and all that? It's, it, it's challenging right now. And um, one reason is there's not a lot of separation between players. The other reason is, you know, as we've gone through the early days of practice, um, you know, one day, you know, you think you have everything in mind and then the next day comes and guys play differently and you're like, wait a second. That's not what I saw yesterday. And so we've kind of gone through that a little bit here early on. Who's been your most consistent practice player? The most consistent guys have been our returning players. I mean, the guys who have experience, who know what they're doing. You know, they've had a leg up for the most part early on, as is the case, you know, most years. But having said that, I mean, you saw tonight, um, any number of our newcomers have had real, you know, really positive play. And uh, we're excited about you know what, what some of those guys can do. We really pleased with Connor McDougal missing several practices after the accident, and having yeah. a pretty strong scrimmage tonight. Yeah, I mean he's you know fortunately you know wasn't hurt more seriously. Honestly, um, he just returned to practice yesterday, so he he was out for a while. And you know once again as a freshman, I mean every day is so precious um, to learn and get better, but. Uh, he came out and, and certainly had a flurry of baskets to start the scrimmage today. Anybody else catch your eye, Herb? Anybody that? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I'm really excited about a number of our guys. It's it's hard to, you know, single out uh, players, but uh, I, I think Trey Holder for a freshman point guard has been terrific for us. You know, we got to get him to be just a little bit more careful with the ball. But he's all all fall. He's done a really good job of setting teammates up for open shots, and he did that again tonight. And um, so, so that's been good. And I thought, I thought Jerry, um, you know, showed his ability to score tonight. And one thing that we've done with him is to, to help him just get comfortable and simplify it. You know, we've kind of just said, hey, you're going to play two guard. You're going to play off the ball. And I think that that really helped him tonight to do what he does best and, and, and that's, that's score the basketball. Is that a double-edged sword with him? Pardon me? Is it a double-edged sword with him because he, he kind of likes to take a lot of shots and handles the ball, but then he also has the ability to, to score and distribute? Yeah, and he's like a lot of scorers, you know, every once in a while, um, you know, he takes a shot that, you know, you can raise your eyebrows at. And uh, he did that in front of our bench today. And I said, you better make that. <laughs> <laughs> then he did. <laughs> so 
it's a pretty good, uh, from what we've seen, that once Goodman is eligible, he's going to help. But we're, you know, we're, we're not that deep on our front court. I mean, that's the one thing when you look at this team. You know, we're going to have to stay out of foul trouble. We're going to have to really be solid. Um, you know, Eric is really the only guy of legitimate size we have in the upper classes. And then, of course, you have Connor as a young player. Um, Savon is a unique player for us. We haven't had a guy like him in a long time. Um, and, and I thought it was one of his better scrimmages here tonight. Is there any matchup opportunity at, at the four? Yeah, I mean, he just, you know, an undersized front court player who when he plays to his strengths, you know, defends, rebounds, takes it off the dribble, does things like that, he could be a really effective player. You know, when he takes that challenge Jay he did in the first half, you know, I don't know if that's what we're looking for. <laughs> Cody seemed to uh, mesh well. Who's that? Cody. The Cody, I tell you what, he has been so impressive uh, early on here. His basketball IQ is terrific. He has incredible spunk. The guy is absolutely fearless. And he's one of those guys, I'm telling you, when he shoots the ball, I'm surprised when it doesn't go in. He's shot the ball consistently well. He's passed it well. You know, he's got to get stronger, um, keep learning. But I've been really impressed with, with, with Cody in practice. He's had some terrific days for us. So your rotation right now is still up in the air? Way up in the air. I mean, in my mind, I you know, I, I kind of, you know, have an idea. But once again, if, if I'm just going to be honest with you, like if you would have talked to me a week ago, Monday and Tuesday, I would have said, here's who's starting. This is what I think. And then by Wednesday it changed, and I just I, I find myself going back and forth, and I think a lot of it is just you know one day like the gold team that we started with today, uh -huh. we had that same team in practice yesterday, and the same maroon team absolutely killed them. It wasn't even close. And then we come out tonight, and what are they on? 15 at one point. Yeah. So that that's kind of how it's been. Shaq was a little. Looking for a shot in the first half is, I mean, is that what yeah. you expect from him, or did you want no, to? No, I, I don't worry about Shaq not looking for a shot. <laughs> you know, in our in our list of things to worry about, that can't be too high. But um, he's uh, he's really shot the ball well all all through the fall. He's an improved shooter right now, and um, you know, once again, I mean, I think back to where he was last October, early November. And now where he is, and it's just, it's a different player. He has so much more confidence. He knows what he's doing now. Um, and so I think that's only going to allow his athleticism to, you know, to showcase even more. Have you been pleased with his leadership, too, with so many new players on the team? Yeah, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, our older guys have to really set the tone with that. We're looking to Bo, Shaq, and John as our seniors, and Eric as a junior who's been here. To really, you know, to really do that, and, and they're and they're trying to they're trying to do that. They, they they've really tried to help guys. Was the tempo of the game?